I just uh, recently discovered uh, about two days ago that Octoprint uh, you can install on a MakerBot clone uh, with the Raspberry Pi. And I have uh, two CTC printers. I just wanted to test it out. Actually, I ordered the the Pi and realized that uh, it didn't support it. And then I looked again and found out that they do have a, a um, plugin that you can use to that will allow you to communicate with it. It communicates on the XG or X3G, and uh, I installed the OctoPrint on the Pi and went on and logged into it and was able to download the the plugin and it took literally five minutes to uh, get this thing working. So I'll just show you real quick that I do have control of the printer. Um, I can turn on my cooling fan. So on the screen here, the camera is live. I can also turn on my cooling fan. So I have a uh, filament cooling fan that I or the little uh, component and soldered it on the board so it makes the cooling fan automatic. I can also go here and turn it off. I can control the printer head. So I'll move it to the left here. And I'm clicking the mouse button. I can send it back to the home position. And it's doing it all through the web based octo print. The other thing I can do is I can turn on, you can see I had the temperatures going on. Here I can turn on for ABS, the hot end, and it just started to turn the hot end on. I tried to turn the bed on and it didn't seem to want to go on here, so I'll try it again. I don't know if I didn't wait long enough. So I gotta figure out why the bed won't turn on. So I can turn on that, so I'm hoping when I print it automatically will turn everything on. So that might be a little issue I gotta figure out. So I'm gonna turn the turn the bed off. Never it's not reading anything either, so I'm not sure. And I'm gonna turn the hot end off. So it starts cooling. To uh, get that plugin, you just go to Plugin Manager here, and I had to click Get More, and this is on their website how to do this. And I just typed in this GPX, and it automatically brought it up. I clicked Install, and from there it went. You can also type in the website address, and this is the little part that you need to install on here. This GPX. And allows a MakerBot clone all the way up, all the way up to just below the fifth generation. Uh, so FlashForge, CTC, uh, Wando, and all those other printers will will work on this that are clones. So just want to put a little video on there. I'm gonna check my issue out with the the heat bed here and see if it actually prints when I run a uh, program here. So just wanted to do a little quick update there for YouTubers and hopefully you can check out anything else that I've done or ask me any questions. Thanks.